Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. This time we have a very interesting looking um, Rodinger equation and we have uh, we have to solve for A and B 2 to the power of A plus 2 to the power of B plus 2 to the power of C equals to 148 and uh, the condition is that A must be less than A is less than B and B less than C. So how do we solve this kind of problem? That is the uh, reason for this video, okay? So let's get started. And um, so, first is to take our solution. We have 2 to the power of A plus 2 to the power of B plus 2 to the power of C equal to 148. So, uh, what we're going to do is to factor out 2 to the power of A from the left hand side. So I'm going to factor out 2 to the power of A. So I have 2 to the power of A. Then inside the bracket we're going to have 2 to the power of A divided by 2 to the power of A. This will be 1 plus 2 to the power of B divided by 2 to the power of A. So I'm going to have 2 to the power of A. Uh, right? Or rather 2 to the power of B divided by 2 to the power of A plus 2 to the power of C divided by 2 to the power of A. So I'm going to have 2 to the power of C divided by 2 to the power of A, all equal to 48. So I'm going to further simplify what we have within the parentheses, okay? So I have 2 to the power of A, open bracket, 1 plus. So don't forget that we have this rule. Remember, we have this rule A to the power of M over A to the power of N. This is the same as A to the power of M minus N. So I'm going to use this rule. To simplify these two terms, so this becomes 2 to the power of b minus a plus 2 to the power of c minus a equal to 1 for 8. Okay, so, um, so from here now, I'm going to further, um, uh, let me rewrite this properly. Okay, so we have... 2 to the power of A, 2 to the power of A, open bracket 1 plus 2 to the power of B minus A plus 2 to the power of C minus A, close bracket equal to 1, 4, 8. So now I'm going to, since we have products on the left hand side, I'm also going to I write 1 for 8 as a product of two of its factors, okay? so. First, let me prime factorize that. So, we're going to apply prime factorization. 1, 4, 8 divided by 2, we have 74. Divide that by 2 again, we have um, uh, 3, 7. So, it means that 148 is the same as 4 times 37. Okay, so on this end here, uh, so this equation now becomes 2 to the power of 8 times 1 plus. 2 to the power of B minus A plus 2 to the power of C minus A equal to 4 times 37. Now, if we look at this, any number that has a base of 2 is an even number. So it means this is even. And this is also even. This is 4. That's a base of 2. I can write this as 2 to the power of uh, 2. Now, when you have an even, don't forget I said any number to the power of 2, I mean any number that has a base of 2 is an even number. So it means that within this bracket, we have an even number here, there's also an even number here. So one, when you add 1 to an even number, it makes it odd. So here we have odd. And this is clear, clearly an odd number. 37 is clearly an odd number. So what we need to do now, is to compare the even numbers on both sides and then also compare odd numbers on both sides. So comparing even and even, we have 2 to the power of a is equal to 4. And this is the same as, this implies 2 to the power of a is equal to 2 to the power of 2. And then if we look at, uh, use the same base, uh, Rule for of indices a to the power of b equal to 
a to the power of c. This means that b will be equal to c. Since they have the same base, therefore the powers have to be the same. All right. So using the same uh, base rule, this becomes a equal to two. Now, if we compare, go ahead and compare odd and odd. Comparing odd with odd on both sides, we are, we are going to say that we will say that one plus two to the power of b minus a plus two to the power of c minus a will be equal to thirty-seven. So if we go ahead and solve this for that, we see that 2 to the power of b minus a plus 2 to the power of c minus a will be equal to 37 minus 1. And that gives us 36. Okay, so moving over from that end, we have that we have that 2 to the power of b minus a plus 2 to the power of c minus a will be equal to 36. So I'm going to further and do something here. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of b over 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of c over 2 to the power of a equal to 36. And uh, I can factor out 1 over 2a. 1 over 2a will be uh, into 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c equal to 36. Alright. And don't forget that a is 2. So this becomes 1 over 2 to the power of 2 bracket 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c equal to 36. Alright. So continuing from here, if we multiply both sides by 4, this is actually 1 over 4. So if we multiply both sides by 4, we have 4 dot 1 over 4 times 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c equal to 4 plus 36. So this will give me 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c equals to 4 times. So I'm going to further break up this to 4 dot 9. And so 4, this is 4 squared. So here we are going to have, so next we are going to have, um, yes, on that end here, From that end, we have 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c equals to 4 squared dot uh, 9. Plus, 4 squared is obviously 16. Now, we go ahead and factor out 2 to the power of b. 2 to the power of b times 2 to the uh, So, once I factor out 2 to the power of b, this will simply give us 1 plus 2 to the power of c minus b. That will be equal to 4 squared times 9. And this is even. This is odd. Even. Odd. Now comparing both sides now. Even is even. That is 2 to the power of B equal to 4 squared. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of B equal to 16. 2 to the power of B equals to 2 to the power of 4, so we have b to be equal to 4. Okay, now let's compare the odd man with odd. So we have 1 plus 2 to the power of c minus b equal to 9. So this is the same as 2 to the power of c minus b equal to 9 minus 1. So continuing from this end, we have that 2 to the power of c minus b. Be equal to 8. This is the same as 2 to the power of c minus b equal to 2 to the power of 3. Yeah. 8 is 2 to the power of 3. So comparing this, uh, comparing the fact, I mean, uh, looking at the fact that the base are the same, so we can equate the power c minus b equal to 3 so that um, so that um, c will be equal to 3 plus b. And b from here is equal to 4. So we have c equal to 3 plus 4 to c equal to 7. So we can see that a, this is c equal to 7. So from here we see that a equal to 2, b equal to 4, and c equal to 7. And this is, um, this conforms to the rule that 
A must be less than B, and B must be less than C. So guys, there you have it. We can check this off by further verifying the result. Okay? Uh, 2 to the power of A plus 2 to the power of B plus 2 to the power of C equals to 148. 148. A is 2, so we have 2 to the power of 2. B is 4, we have 2 to the power of 4. C is 7, we have 2 to the power of 7. Will that be equal to 148? Let's see. This is 4 plus 16 plus 128. Equals to 148. 4 plus 16 is uh, 20. 4 plus 16 is 20. Plus uh, 128 equals to 148. So we have 20 plus 128 equals to 148. So that is 148 equals to 148. So both sides are correct. The left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So the values for A. Therefore, we can conclude by saying A is 2, B is 4, and then C equal to 7. This is the result, guys. So I'll see you in the next class. But before then, there's a video, uh, there's a, my playlist is showing right uh, before you. Please click on, on it. Uh, see other videos I have on my channel. It contains, the playlist contains some of the uh, videos I have on my channel. So I'll see you in the next class. Thank you.